This video is to show you how to install LSB by Pagnet96 without using a zip file. The first thing you want to do is download the latest version or the version that you want to install. For this example, I'm going to use Vector Beta 7. So go ahead and download it first. So now that you have downloaded the file, uh, make sure that you have this app right here, the third one on the first row, Easy File Explorer. It will make life much easier. Go ahead and select the upper menu on top. Go to your downloads and you'll notice it's right there. Um, the next step you want to do is for some reason, lately I've been seeing that it downloads two files. So what I do is after a long press hold, go to more options, hit properties, just to make sure that you see the size bytes. This is at zero. Um, this file, I guess, is a dummy file or something, but it doesn't work. This way, if you're noticing that you're having permission issues or not, not installing correctly the odds are that it's not the correct file so i'm going to go ahead and delete this file since it's not necessary uh, be back. Uh, rate you later now go ahead and select this file go to properties again and if you notice the size and use um now we have um 200 and 32 gig gigabytes. This means that's the file that we want to use. So now that it's selected, go ahead and hit the rename option, delete everything, including the extension, and make sure that you rename this file with a capital L S. Hit OK. Now your file will convert into a different icon that looks like this. Now go ahead and select the file, hold it, go to more options, go to move to. Now here on the arrow, go ahead and select it. Select the icon, phone icon. Scroll down to your system. Go to the bin folder. And just hit OK. Now, now if you see it, it's it's transferring. Since I already have it on my system, it's asking me to replace it. So I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite it. Um, you want to make sure that either one you have uninstalled, or if you're coming from a, from 3.3 that you uninstall everything, and you might not get this info. So I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite it. Okay. Now. I'm gonna go go back to uh, to the system file. One quick second. Hit here. Just to confirm that the file got copied correctly. Where ls is. And you notice it's right here, this one right here. Now you also have other file, ls, ls mod. These files are for BusyBox. So if you see in the thread that it says delete L ls, it doesn't include those two files right here. It's only the one with a capital S. Now to change permission to some people, that issue, after you have selected this, go to more, go to properties, and you see here where it says permission on the bottom. It says RWX, RWX, hit change. Now make sure that your permission, read, write, and execute all on top is um, checked off. 
and some some version of um, easy file have a code here that says 775 that's what they're referring to make sure that it says that but as long as you have all of this checked off you should be okay now that you have the permission settings in my case I'm just gonna cancel because mine's already ready uh, with the permissions I'm gonna go ahead and use my terminal emulator for for me I actually use um, ROM toolbox pro which already has a script built into it and a terminal emulator. Go ahead and select SU to grant it super user permission. Now, make sure that you're running the LS with capital letters because it is cap sensitive and let it do its thing. Make sure that you have BusyBox 1.2.1 Asterixon. Um, and the reason why some users have some users have been reporting issues with ad blocker not updating. And if you switch to that one, you will have we will no longer have those issues. As you can see, now it's enabled. Um, go ahead and set it up however you want. And for illustration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and select um 15, which is the ad blocker. Since I have the busy box of Asterix. You will notice that I have I don't have an issue updating the script. It's gonna update right now. And that's all. It's that easy. So hopefully this helps out. Um, if you have any other questions or you want me to make a video on installing. Um, I'll be going to a different version. I'm assuming everybody knows how to do this at this point. Um, just go ahead and either send me a PM and I'll be glad to do this. Hope this helped out. And if you have any questions, just go feel free to send me a comment.